Randy Orton. All right, so this morning when I woke up after the TLC pay-per-view, I didn't watch it, but I always read about the pay-per-views. I'm more of an AEW fan, so when I woke up, I saw Randy Orton set the Fiend on fire. And it wasn't just like the typical, like when Kane and Undertaker had the Inferno match, Kane's hand, arm got set on fire. He lit his whole damn, he lit his ass on fire. His whole face was on fire. Whole body was on fire. The Fiend was set on fire by uh, Randy Orton. I honestly feel like, is this going to be the first sign of a new change for the WWE? Because Raw ratings were super, super low. And you know how they were saying, like, uh, a new change has to come. They understand what they have to do now, blah, blah, blah. I honestly think that, that was probably one of the best endings to a WWE pay-per-view in a long time. They even got an article on TMZ. TMZ wrote an article about this ending. Now, everyone knows that, that he didn't die or anything like that, of course. But it's just the fact that you saw his whole body, including his face, get set on fire. I don't know how they did it, but it was probably one of the most interesting angles they've done since, let me think, The Undertaker's match with AJ Styles. That's as far as, they haven't done anything interesting since then, if you ask me. But man, so what does this mean now? Is The Fiend dead? Is it gonna be a new character revel reveal? Is Randy Orton going to be a heel? Like, I don't understand. Because, like, it feels like both of them are kind of heel, but it doesn't really make sense. But this is a whole new direction. Like, I'm actually interested in seeing what's going to happen. Um, Yeah, man. Well, Bray Wyatt come out tonight on Raw. Like, it just, there's no telling. Him getting set on fire was more interesting than anything that's happened in the company in the whole past year and a half. I think it's more interesting than when Kane and the Undertaker got more set on fire and when the Undertaker set Kane on fire. Because it it wasn't just corny, it was like it looked like he really was burning. Like of course we know they did some type of trick. I don't know how. But he got set on fire, man. And I'll be dropping more wrestling reactions if it's gonna be interesting stuff. Like when Sting debuted in AEW last week, I saw it live, so I didn't wanna be that YouTuber who just like who fakes the reaction and Put the reaction out now like I was shocked at Sting. I watched it live. I watched AW every single Wednesday. So when I seen Sting come, it was crazy. But I think tonight Raw, at least for the portion of Randy Orton and the Fiend storyline, it needs I'm gonna make another video if it's something interesting that happens after. But man, that was crazy. Like I wanna know how they did it. Not now, like maybe down the some years down the road. Like don't reveal how you did it now because they could use this again for some uh, another interesting angle in the storyline. Like the Fiend got burned, so the Fiend burns Randy Orton's family. I don't know, you know, it's just something interesting. But what do you guys think about this? Comment down below. Um, more wrestling reactions coming. I know I do re music reactions, but I'm a huge wrestling fan, so it's just like I gotta stay true to my channel. My channel is called Shot by Reggie, so it's about me. My channel is about me, music I'm interested in, wrestling angles I'm interested in. So more reactions will come to wrestling if it's interesting angles. But if it's just like on a daily, week to week, like I don't watch Raw or SmackDown really. I've been liking what Roman Reigns is doing, but overall, this angle is interesting enough to make me come and make a video. So, leave comments down below what you think is going to happen. Subscribe, please. Thumbs up the video, please. And, um, hey, we bad, man.